so we're at Bateman Primary School, which has got a bush tucker garden. Zoom in. Is... Oh, wow. yeah, no, this is so Hang on, I'm... just wait. Now we'll action again. Okay, this one's a chocolate lily. The um, flowers, when they do flower, smell like chocolate. And it says the tubers can be eaten. Yeah. So I don't know what tubers means, Mum. Action. Okay, so this is old man saltbush. Saltbush was used by Aboriginal people for a long time. There's evidence of them um, grinding up the seeds to be used as flour uh, from hundreds, thousands years ago, of years ago. Um, that's how we actually know that Aboriginal people invented bread. Leaves are also really good and they're salty and they're edible. We're going to be using some of these today, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so these are warrigal greens. We're going to be using these for um, something and you can use them either raw with salads or like you would with spinach so steam it or blanch it um, but you've got to make sure that you get rid of the water if you do um, cook it in water because of the oxalic content they're quite salty but I like them, they're yummy <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> Alright, so we are now back in the kitchen I am starting with the salt bush. We're going to roast them and um, use them in the damper. So after you've um, washed them, just going to put them on a baking tray, put some olive oil on and then put them in the hot oven. Okay, and when they're nice and toasted, you're going to take them out and grind them up. You're going to put two tablespoons of oil into a jug along with 250 to 350 mils of water. Sift 500 grams of self-raising flour into a large bowl and then mix in the two tablespoons of the ground salt bush. You can also use wattle seed or uh, bush tomato as well as lemon myrtle and strawberry gum if you wish instead of salt bush. Slowly pour in Pour in the oil and water mixture and mix to make a dough. Knead on a floured surface until it's smooth and you're happy with it. It shouldn't be too sticky. Okay, put it in a baking tray, flour the surface and then put in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. Voila! Yummy! After measuring 250 grams of warrigal greens, you're going to um, take them and put them in a pot of boiling water and you're going to do what's called blanching them, which is where you put them in the boiling water for one minute. And then you're taking them out after a minute and putting them in an ice bath um, for another minute to cool. When they're cool, you're going to tip out this water and put them aside. Put a tablespoon of olive oil into a frying pan, peel and dice two normal sized potatoes and put them in a saucepan to simmer until tender. Guys, I really have to tell you something. <sighs> Chop up some onions <laughs> and some garlic into the fry pan of oil and cook until soft. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Put the onion and garlic, the warrigal greens and the potato in a bowl and put it in the food processor to process it. Or if you're like me and you don't have a food processor, processor, processor then you use a stick blender or a normal blender. Okay, and there you go. You've got salt bush damper with a warrigal green sauce. Thoughts? Mm, nice. Nice? Mm. Yeah. Very good, well done.